Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Marvel's What If, Episode 4. This is on Disney Plus, I believe. It's been pretty good so far. If you want to check out my playlist, I have the first three also. This one is What If Doctor Strange Lost His Heart Instead of His Hands. So, I like this episode right off the bat. I think it's one of the more complex ones, and I really appreciate it. It's got one of the things I've been waiting for, and a lot of these what-ifs have a twist on, you know, a certain point in time and the ramifications that add the consequences of things being a little different than they actually were in a certain universe. But what I really like about this one is the stakes are the universe itself. Very impressive in that case. I really appreciated it. Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumber, Cumberbatch, Cumberbent, <laughs> and the voices are spot on. Love the animation. I think the music could have been more prominent in certain parts because in my head I kept hearing some epic music at certain parts of the episode. And if that's a nitpick, that could be a drawback, but as I said, I really liked the episode. I just finished watching it. It was pretty good, and like I said, it's hard when you watch these things because I've seen so much. I'll say it real quick. I'm a big comic book fan. I'm 50 years old. I collected every comic book um, company. I didn't have a favorite in a sense. Well, maybe DC and Marvel were my favorites, Image and you know Independence, but I loved them all. I want to see everything do good. Uh, so I have a real, real deep knowledge of what if comics. I've had a lot of them. I have some in my bathroom sitting there. So you always uh, get caught up in some of these twists and they're really good. But when you got one that says, hey, you know, you might destroy the world. Ooh, you know, but the galaxy, the solar system, the universe is destroyed i mean wow it's uh so basically uh i don't like giving a lot of spoilers and you know plot twists and stuff but in general the twist on this is dr strange is in his car with his girlfriend when he gets into a car crash and she dies now throughout the show you find out that she is an absolute point in time meaning you can't change that. Like, there are certain things you can change. So maybe if uh, someone died that wasn't in that particular position or whatever, they would be able to be saved. Like, you could manipulate time and get away with it. And we can get into the Loki show and what happens when you mess with time, because that's what the whole show is about. What if? And the ramifications of that. But this was saying, I think, more to the point, she has to die because... That's how you defeat Dormammu. Well, that's how you get your... I don't know if they're alluding to his... You know, his determination, his focus, his drive. And it's really dark, and I'm really uh, liking some of the dark twists they're putting on these. Just to give an impression of what could happen out there. And I think it's a really good thing. Now, I still think I had more fun with... Agent Carter, I think that might be my favorite one. I don't know. I really liked What If We Lost the Mightiest Heroes, which was episode three. I still think the weakest one is two. What If T'Challa Became Star-Lord? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to watch this one again, because this is just after watching it. It just, uh, you know, uh, surface thoughts, quick things. This is about as good as I expected it to be. Not many players, not much confusion going on. Really to the point, there's a darkness, there's a, a sad tone to it that reverberates. And there's a culmination with a reveal and Doctor Strange has to fight himself. Meaning, they do a kind of retcon where as you see the story progress, the Ancient One comes to him in a vision or an astral projection of sorts 
It says, think of me as an echo, but when you did this thing that changed everything, I did something also. So you have a chance because your path as the Doctor Strange who wants to save his girlfriend has gone too far and the, the world is going to be destroyed, the universe is going to be destroyed. You have to save him. You have to save it. And that kind of is the plot twist, twist. Okay, so Doctor Strange, the good one, maybe the one we know more. Although this one is still going with that Doctor Strange knows he lost his girlfriend in the car. But he's gotten over it. Whereas in the movie, they didn't put that much into the um, the fact that he lost his hands, not his girlfriend. So that's the major thing. I think the voice acting is really good. Sometimes he really makes me feel the pain and the suffering and the despair he's in. However, I will reiterate, I was missing some epic music. And maybe I'll listen to it again. Maybe I was so wrapped up in the story that I was focusing on, you know, the path Doctor Strange was on. And they do kind of mix some things with the comic books because there's some insane comic arcs with Doctor Strange. Now, when he started and he was at his prominence and he was at his heights, he was an entity, basically. He was super powerful. He could deal with the entities, uh, conceptual beings of the universe, like Eternity and, uh, you know, Dormammu. And his powers were so wide-ranging and so powerful. Over the decades, they've played with it. They've balanced him out, or they tried to, where he's depending on other people's power. Oh, no, no, he has to go for personal power. He has to use items, and he has to absorb things. So there's a little bit of element in that, too, which I really like. And again, this is a really dark take. This is what happens when someone as powerful as Doctor Strange messes with things and he was warned there's a really good part in this where he's at his end and all that's really left is this deteriorating world the woman he saved and the watcher and he turns to the watcher and he says i've sensed you help me you can save this you you're a god blah 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 and the watcher's like i'm not a god and neither are you you were warned. And by the way, he was warned numerous times. And still, he kept up with the plan, kept gaining power, kept absorbing, kept twisting himself. He was no longer human, totally. And his drives just, and he's begging him. He's like, don't let the world pay for my arrogance. Don't let the universe, you know, pay for my mistakes. And the fucking watcher says, I'm out. And that's it. It's just soul crushing. It's really the dark twist. The this is the level of power you're playing with. Now, I don't know if they're going to do something as grand with something smaller. So let's say we get Hank Pym, because right, he was in the last one, and the thing he did was save Hope. Now would Hope that saved him hope destroy the universe? That type of question is in some of the what ifs, like some inconsequential character, some very low powered, seems minute detail is changed, and then holy shit, the universe is going to pay for it. I don't know if they'll do that, because that might be a little more nuanced and, uh, you know, you have to develop it more, you might need more time. But for what they did, I was really impressed. I really like this. Now, looking back, as I said, I really think I was captivated by the first one. Not too turned on by the second one, but I, I saw some of the quality there. And I really like the theme of the third one. If it might be critically not as good, I don't know. But this one was straight to the point. It had a real easy to follow story. Um, and like I said, it's not a small person whose power and a decision is made that the ramifications are felt throughout the world. This is the Sorcerer Supreme who, for trying to save the love, he, you know, I guess in this universe, the love of his life, or someone he really can't get over, he will do anything. And it starts off small, and he, he well, he tries first, and then he knows he's got to sort of small. And he slowly changes, and his decisions become 
warped by this drive, and it's pretty good. I, like I said, I was really surprised that they went this nihilistic, and there's no real silver lining in this episode, if that's a spoiler that I gave away. But I like a lot of these things, I'm, if I'm doing this week to week, and I'm really going to try to hit some of the notes of the story, so these might be always a lightly spoiler version. Now, like I said, I think the music needs to be turned up or emphasized and really highlighted. Like, I know I'm make, making this up, but like, you know, as bad as people say the prequels were, when Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are fighting Darth Maul, and that music comes on, it's fucking epic. It really brings you in. Some of the Lord of the Rings music cues really bring you in. I think this needed that. I just needed something else that would make this a grand, um, you know, just up there with the best of the best. And I think it really, it might fall short in that department. But again, I just watched it. It's pouring rain. It's been raining all day. You could probably hear it if it's uh, coming up on my um, mic. I'm not sure. But yeah, I like this. Doctor Strange. What if he lost his girl, his heart instead of his hands? Really good. I mean, I'm wondering if I'll look back on these and see the length of them and see the breath of all they did and start picking them apart more because now that i'm thinking about it i think if i go back to the first one i can find a little more flaws i'm just captivated by the animation the momentum the movement and i've said this before they have a knack with this animation to keep things moving it feels like the momentum is there it's there's weight to things there's um a depth to things that you miss out on certain things. I could think of some of the greatest Batman animation uh, series, and it, it lacks in that. Even though they're so great, award-winning, I love it. The old Spider-Man, the X-Men cartoon. It's rare that some episodes will show certain things. I could think of one of the X-Men episodes where they're fighting on Murr Island, and Gladiator's coming, and they get this music cue, and they're fighting through this castle, and the camera comes through the wall, and you see people fighting in like 360 degrees and the camera does a really cool thing. It's almost like this, the, these animators or these teams that are working on the episodes are giving a certain mandate to keep a certain feel. Even if it's a little different, even if you notice some of the cell shading is a little more prominent in some, what is a real um, drastic change like you might notice about certain teams. Because I'm sure in, in this thing, well maybe I'm not because I, I didn't do a deep dive. I don't know if they're changing animation teams for each episode, and maybe they are. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's part of the um, what-if scenario of things changing and altering things that they are using it for that effect. But I think there's a grounding here, something that connects them all that's really impressive. So this story, like I said, is about Doctor Strange losing his girlfriend, his love, his heart, instead of his hands. So it does prompt them to go on this mystical crusade, or this exploration and searching, and it's that same story. But in this, he is actually keep uh, constantly trying to save her. And of course he has the eye and the time, but he needs more. And that's an, that one might be another nitpick. It kind of felt um, a little bit convoluted or a little bit like he needed more knowledge he needed more uh books to learn he needed more power and and in that case i love that story but you sh i wouldn't have gave him the eye and considered it um the time stone and maybe i missed that element maybe i missed a nuance to it in any case i really enjoyed this one I will give it a recommendation, as I will this whole um, four episodes, this whole uh, journey. I think it's well worth it. I think it's a great idea. If not hitting it out of the ballpark every week, I don't think something like this can. I think something like this will have a little bit of lulls and a little bit of scratch in your head. And I think people can get immersed in something like this and really, it, it could take off. So I recommend it. I hope everybody's doing well. Be safe. My best to you and yours.